This morning, I'm joined by Rachel Long from the Safety Office. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Jennifer. Now, this morning we're going to talk a little bit about arc flashes. Now, what does the term arc flash mean? So basically, an arc flash occurs when an explosive flash of light jumps from one electrical source to another on a piece of equipment. And this can occur, it can happen for a variety of reasons. If you drop a tool, if you accidentally touch, if you have faulty installation, material failure, or even corrosion and condensation can cause an arc flash. And the important thing to remember is any electrical job, uh, arc flash is a concern. It is a hazard. Okay. Now, what are some of the dangers and some of the hazards that are associated with arc flash? So some of the dangers and hazards, uh, typically we're going to worry about fire, obviously, and then any burns. So arc flash can burn extremely hot. So we worry about if you're not wearing flame retardant clothes, flame resistant clothing, your clothing can actually burn right onto your skin, which is definitely a concern. We're worried about flying objects, possibly molten metal. You can have blast pressure upwards of 2,000 pounds a square foot, so a huge blast. The sound from that can be up to 140 decibels. That's about the same uh, noise as a, sh a, a gunshot, essentially, so it's very loud. And then you can also have heat at temperatures up to about 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's four times the surface temperature of the sun, so definitely extremely hot. Okay. Now, are there any signs, danger signs, that can identify places where this could happen? Absolutely. So signage is required on any piece of electrical equipment. And one thing I do just want to talk about, this safety bulletin is going out this morning. It shows an example of the labeling that's required on electrical equipment out here. It talks about the PPE requirements, so it talks about what type of PPE the qualified electrical worker will have to wear if they're inside that approach boundary. And it gives a lot of good information, the same kind of facts that we talked about today. So I would encourage anyone who uh, works on electrical equipment to review the safety bulletin uh, today. Okay, well good.